Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Perrier, otherwise known as Jessica Posh, and I wanted to come on here today to tell you guys a little bit about my Platinum Premier Retreat in Miami that I went to um, two weeks ago. No, I haven't unpacked. <laughs> I actually just opened my suitcases to pull out my swag so that I could make this swag haul video slash recap video for you guys. No, really, I, I have it unpacked. I'm gonna show you. This is my entryway, and I just flopped my suitcases open so I could pull my swag out. So I've actually let you into my very, very messy office. That's just how I live my life. I've cleaned this office 3,000 times and it always ends up like this, and it's just how I best function, so don't judge me. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about my trip and also share with you my swag back there. Want to see what's in here? Keep watching. Um, so I'll show you the swag towards the end, but first I want to tell you a little bit about it. And also, you know, I'm a new goat mom still, <laughs> caring for my little goat babies. And so, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to be sharing lots of pictures throughout this recap. So look forward to seeing some of my fun memories. And I took notes. Alyssa and I, it was our first trip together in a very long while. For those of you that don't know, Alyssa Brown is my posh bestie and she had a baby last year. So her baby's I think like 10 months old now. So this was her very first trip away from home. And so I was so excited to be with her, but also so nervous that she was going to be missing her baby. Which she did, but we got through. <laughs> so we stayed at the Eden Rock in Miami and it was an amazing hotel. Not quite as amazing as the Fountain Blue next door, but don't worry, we went there for a spa day. Okay, so Alyssa and I actually went one night early. I mean, technically one night early, but we didn't actually land until midnight. So, you know, traveling from the West Coast to the East Coast, it's a trip. So we went one night early so that we could at least wake up in the hotel and be ready to experience all of the things, right? We also really tried hard to vlog the trip. Every single time we go on a trip together, we're like, oh, let's do a vlog. And we think, you know, we'll both take some videos and then we'll put them together at the end. And it just never works out that way because we're just so busy living in the moment. So I'll share a couple of clips that we vlogged, if you will, um, but I think there's like three total. We have arrived, we're in Atlanta waiting for our connection. We're getting some food and some booze and I'm uploading a video for Hey. Yay. Are you so excited for the platinum retreat? I'm so excited. Okay, so the very first official day of the trip was a Wednesday. And so we, you know, woke up bright and early. And by we, I mean I woke up bright and early. And new mom here, she slept in, but that's okay. I expected that. And then we headed out to breakfast. And it was so nice because we had a chance to have breakfast with um, a lot of people from home office. And I always like to get the chance to spend time with them because we have literally the best home office team that we have ever had. And probably the best one out there altogether. But anyway, last month I actually promoted to Platinum Plus, yay! So Alyssa made arrangements to have a special bottle of champagne brought to breakfast for me, which was so exciting, but there was like a corkage fee at the table or something, so we ended up taking the champagne upstairs and went on to drink that later in the week. So by midday on Wednesday, most everybody had arrived or was currently arriving, and we all had our own separate rooms. So Posh really spoiled us, because typically on a Posh trip, we will, you know, bunk up, and Alyssa and I are always roommates so it's not a big deal but having two separate rooms that gave us an opportunity so we had a sleeping room and a party room <laughs> no really we literally had a sleeping room and a party room and so we went and situated the party room we brought a speaker in there I had a little go wild banner you know just in case anybody didn't know what to do that was the room to go wild in <laughs> um, we went and got extra towels and we made it all situated to receive all of our posh friends. Not everybody's room was available immediately upon arrival and so we greeted everybody and invited them up to the party room if they wanted to take a quick shower or you know just hang out or whatever. So we did that for most of Wednesday day. Oh you know and we're also picky. Picky platinums and everybody was expecting and wanting a nice 
uh, beach view, ocean view, and a couple people got put in the wrong room. So we had a little bit of room shuffling to do, blah, blah, blah. We all got it done and we all had amazing views. It was truly amazing views. The ocean was just so pretty. I love the beach so much. Okay, and then Wednesday night, it was time for the welcome dinner, finally. And it was so exciting because everybody was there on time. Well, everybody that was supposed to be there. A couple of our friends had to cancel last minute and I am very sad about it and that's all that I'll say. So the food at all of the dinners was really amazing. They would do a family style spread. We kept calling it family dinner. What time's family dinner? And it was just super fun. They had a different theme each night and I don't remember what we ate on the first night but it was really delicious. After the dinner, um, David invited Alyssa and I to come up to his room to grab some accoutrements that he had picked up for us for in the party room. And so we grabbed a bunch of snacks and waters and a couple adult beverages to bring over to the party room where we went and met everybody else that was wanting to hang out, you know, later than 10 p.m. There's some people that like to go to sleep and while I totally respect that, there's no time for sleeping on past trips. So we hung out in the party room um, pretty late that night, I think. No, I'll tell you what. Jessica Posh, go away with your phone. You so, little paparazzo. So, um, and yeah, we just partied hard. <laughs> this was so nice to have a little extra party room because somebody did fall asleep and we were able to tuck her right into bed, left her a little note and made sure she took a painkiller and some water <laughs> before actually going to sleep. And yeah, she was totally fine. Thursday was freaking amazing. So Thursday was spa day over at the Fountain Blue. And the reason we went to the Fountain Blue was because the spa at the Eden Rock was still closed. And I think we actually lucked out because man, the spa at the Fountain Blue is absolutely breathtaking and giant. Typically when we have a spa day, our appointments are very spread out, right? Because they can only accommodate so many people at once. But we were all clustered into just a couple hour, um, window and it was just so nice. They had a mineral pool. I took absolutely no pictures. I left my phone at home during spa day and it was truly a remarkable experience. The hotel was really awesome. The pool area was really amazing um, and it was just breathtaking. My facial was freaking awesome. Like I just can't say enough good things about my facial and my massage. It was the triple cleanse facial and they did this like plaster mask thing. It was really awesome. And after spa day, when I was looking in the mirror, I was like, holy moly, I have no pores. <laughs> so I highly recommend the Fountain Blue Spa. When we finished spying, we were starving because we finished around like two. And so it was like awkward time of missing a little bit of the ideal lunch hour, blah, blah. So we headed back over to Eden Rock and I forget the name of the restaurant, but they have a farm to fork restaurant. Maybe it's like farm market or something. I can't believe I can't remember it, but market something. Anyway, it's oceanfront. It's a restaurant and they have an avocado pizza to die for. And I'll put a picture here. You guys, an avocado pizza is nothing that sounds delicious to me. Like I love pizza and I love avocados, but I'm not trying to put avocados on my pizza. But Krista Ward had recommended it um, earlier that day. And so I ordered it on totally her referral and it was freaking amazing. So it was a, like a pizza crust, avocados, obviously, drizzled with a little agave and lime and cilantro, I might be making that up. It's so amazing. We got that avocado pizza like three more times throughout the rest of the week because it was just so unique and so delicious. Highly recommend the avocado pizza. So then Thursday night, we reported to family dinner at 7 p.m. It was another delicious spread. We were having so much fun. I love to play waitress and you know, just walk around to all the different tables to see if anybody needs anything. It gives me a chance to talk to more people, also gives me a chance to do a little bit of moving. And I just like waiting on people. I don't know, is that weird? I just like it. Anyway, so I was doing my little waitressing thing and then I had sat back down at my table and you know, I was a couple of fireballs in because I really enjoy those little fireball minis, especially on trips, because I can just, you know, have my little sipper with me. And then I got the text. And I'll see if I have a screenshot to insert here, but yeah, I got the text that said, call me ASAP, dot, 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 goat had babies. 
she had two babies. Well, just for the record, in case you didn't catch this on my last video, I didn't actually know my goat was pregnant. So this was very much a shock. And I really wish that my friends would have taken a picture of my face because it was literally like, oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't due to go home until Sunday. It's only just Thursday night and my goat had babies. Holy moly. Don't worry. I got in touch with the vet. She got out there the next day. Everything is fine. I'm nursing one of them. That's a little bit, I mean, not literally nursing her, but blah, blah. They're doing fine. My, my babies are fine. But yeah, that stressed me out a little bit at that dinner. I had just got done um, going live with my team with Allie and Shannon. Um, just talking about, you know, upcoming exciting stuff, la la la, trying to give them a behind the scenes peek. And then, yeah. Anyway, Thursday night turned into a really fun pajama night in the party room. Anybody that was up for it, um, we just switched into pajamas and went in there to hang out and we had so much fun. And you guys, I couldn't even hang. I think I passed out. It was probably like almost 2 a.m. I was like, I'm just going to go lay down. <laughs> but my friends are so sweet. They still took pictures with me. I'll put those in here. Okay, so that brings me to Friday, which is technically the last day of the retreat because Saturday was our Rock Your Body launch. Friday was the longest day of my life. Super duper fun, but it was a very long day. <laughs> so I got up, you know, at the crack of dawn because that's what I do even when I don't try. And Katrina and I went to the restaurant that I can't remember the name of at Eden Rock to have Oceanside breakfast. And it was a delicious breakfast. And then all day Friday was supposed to be beach day. And so we all reported down um, to the cabanas. Uh, Posh had rented out all of the cabanas right there on the ocean front for us to kind of hang and lounge and spend all day. And we were there for a couple of hours. <laughs> taking beach photos. Before I had headed out to Miami, I had done a little bit of Googling and TikToking, like, you know, how to pose for photos to look cute, la la la, because, you know, this is only cute so much. And so I just started to learn a little bit about triangles and creating angles and that sort of thing. And I don't know if I actually saw this then or if this was in my brain from before, but I remembered seeing somewhere that if you Give yourself like an exaggerated wedgie with your bathing suit and you take a picture from behind, it actually is super flattering. So I was like, I'm going to try it. And so I sat down in front of my two friends and I was like, okay, you guys, I'm going to give myself like a super wedgie. Will you try to take a picture of me and see how it turns out? And you guys, it turned out really cute. Like so kind of sexy, right? That my friends were like, oh, I want to try. And then next thing you know, I was spending about two hours giving my friends wedgies and taking pictures of them. <laughs> it was actually a ton of fun. But yeah, I gave wedgies all day. And then I started drinking coconuts. Beach day was literally so much fun and I'm actually sad that we didn't have more of them because just hanging out on the beach with a bunch of girlfriends is literally a dream. It was so much fun. Okay, the coconuts. Super fun drinks. Literally, hi, I'm holding a drink in a coconut. How much more quintessentially vacation can you get? Turns out those coconuts were like mm, 20, maybe $30 each. So yeah, we got that bill on the way out. But they were super delicious. <laughs> they were super fun. They were super great in the pictures. Um, and yeah, that said, we actually had to report, I think it was two o'clock in the afternoon that we had our run through rehearsal for all of the presentations that were going to be the next day during our Rock Your Body launch. Well, a couple of the girls that had to cancel last minute from attending the trip were also set to be speakers. So there were quite a few of us that were tapped into very last minute, not expecting to present. Yeah, well, anyway, so our practice run through was at two o'clock on beach day after a bunch of coconuts. So you can imagine that was a very fun practice, but also we probably should have done a little bit more preparing, but that's okay. We like to shoot from the hip here. That's not true, I do. So we were in rehearsals for like an hour, maybe a little bit more, and so, uh, Gretchen and I ran out and got one more cocktail just, you know, to keep to keep the fun going. <laughs> um, and then after rehearsals were all finished, uh, Gretchen and I went up to Angie McKinley's room and <laughs> just had a super fun giggly time. 
and we took some crazy pictures and she posted them on the internet. I gave her permission, but also I was adult beverages in when I gave permission, but blah, 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 details, details. So then all of a sudden it was time to get ready for the farewell dinner. And like I said, Friday was a long day only because there was so much fun, exciting stuff going on. So by the time it was time to get ready for the farewell dinner, I was so many coconuts in and I was so excited for my dress, but also I did not feel like standing there to do my hair, blah, blah, blah. So we just went with the beach hair look for that night, um, reported to the farewell dinner and it was so pretty. They had it set up outside. They had this big giant light that kind of looked like a moon. It was so cool. And the photographer was there and everybody was taking cute pictures. And I was like, we need some cute candid photos. And so, uh, bless his heart. I dragged Austin around to different groups and was like, okay, pretend like she just told a joke. Okay. Pretend like she just told a joke. And you guys, those pictures came out so cute. So I don't even regret it. Oh, and then it was at the farewell dinner that we received our swag. Kate Spade, anybody? This is the nicest gift that I have ever received from Perfectly Posh. I just love so much that they are spoiling us as leaders. So obviously this is a Kate Spade purse. It's got a monogram little tag here. And then we also got a monogrammed little journal right here. We also received a copy of Swim, which is the book by our speaker, Walter Bond. He spoke on Saturday um, at our event and he was truly amazing. So it, I love that we received the book in advance. And obviously it comes with a strap, so you can wear it like a crossbody or like a little tote bag. And I just love it so much. Also, hello, look at how cute these pajamas are. Shout out to my upline, Leah Dalton. She brought um, pajama pants, well, pajama sets headbands and these water shoe things that were really cool for everybody in her downline. So more swag, but don't worry. Friday still isn't over. After the farewell dinner, we wanted to do some stripper mask pictures. <laughs> I love when we do face mask pictures as a group together. And you guys, the week just went by so freaking fast. I sent a little group message um, to our chat and was like, we need to do the stripper pictures. <laughs> So after dinner was over, everybody reported up to the party room in their PJs so that we could do stripper mask pictures. And you guys, they are the cutest and I'll share them here. Okay. So that brings us to Saturday. Again, Saturday was our rock your body launch. And so they had breakfast set up for us first thing in the morning. And we went down, I think it was like eight or nine and we got to have breakfast. And then we kicked off the launch with a Justin Timberlake impersonator. And it was so much fun. It was really kind of, you know, a little awkward because he did really look like him but he wasn't him and he was dancing all around in the crowd it was funny it was really funny it was a nice little touch to the rock your body situation and then i got to do what i have wanted to do forever and that's present on stage with Alyssa, my bestie and while i don't think that we nailed it we were pretty adorable and again we had done none preparation we didn't know we were supposed to be speaking because hi we were just last minute fill-ins and all week i was like no nope, we're just gonna wing it we're just gonna wing it exactly. and wing it we did we were presenting on crucial conversations and we even came up with a little dance but we only did the little dance one time so yeah stay tuned to uncon because we plan to present together and we might actually prepare for that one okay so then the event was all over and i was super sad however we still had dinner to go at nobu so we had made reservations for um Alyssa and I had made reservations for us and a couple of our friends to go to Nobu. Reservations were few and far between, but we managed to snag a table for five of us. And you guys, it was freaking amazing, delicious food. I had the Chilean sea bass and I highly recommend it. I also had some mini tacos. I ordered a lot of things that night. <laughs> and I also wanted little bites from everybody's plate. Don't ever come to dinner with me if you don't like to share food because I really like to, you know, sample. <laughs> I'll ask first, don't worry. Um, after Nobu, we ended up in the lobby bar playing a game of Never Have I Ever, and that was real interesting. <laughs> and then it was Sunday and I was sad. You guys, leaving a posh trip is so super sad. <sighs> I'm still sad about it, actually. But it was truly amazing. So that was our Platinum Premiere Retreat um, for 2021. They announced the next Platinum Premier Retreat is going to be an African Safari in 2022. So I'm super dope excited for an African Safari. I think that's going to be just a one in a million 
once once in a lifetime opportunity to do it with a bunch of friends as well um okay so i showed you my swag oh I forgot to show you the other swag. Of course, when we arrived to our Rock Your Body launch, they had a transition kit ready for us at our tables. And um, not only did they have that, but they had a bunch of hand sanitizers to keep us nice and safe and nice and, you know, sanitized. And they had the other products, one bag on each table with all of the products that did not come in our transition kits. And then each table could divvy it up. I don't remember which product didn't come in there, maybe this one yeah i think this so fresh so clean hydrating body cream did not come in the transition kit and so this was the one i snagged from our table i don't remember but anyway we also got that so as i was saying it's super sad to leave a posh trip but it's also super fun to look back at all of these memories i hope that you guys enjoyed my little recap slash long recap i've been filming for 23 minutes now <laughs> Um, and all of the pictures that I've shared. If you want to be on the next Platinum Premier Retreat, you can absolutely do it. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below, send me an email, reach out, get in touch. You guys, I never in a million years when I joined Posh thought that I would be attending a Platinum Premier Retreat, let alone looking forward to the next one and the next one and the next one. Posh has changed my life and I am so extremely grateful for that. And I'm extremely grateful to you guys for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit a thumbs up. Hit a thumbs up. <laughs> if you enjoyed my video, be sure you hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.